So I wanted to give you a little tour of my kitchen, um, not for the purpose of just showing you around um, to see what the kitchen looks like, but because I just want to pass on some pointers that um, might be really good for you if you're renovating, building or developing. Um, I can give you some, you know, little uh, kitchen design insights into what works and what doesn't. Um, so you can have a think about that when you're doing your own design. So our kitchen stone is from Kitchen Innovations. We got, which has a premium stone, and I got this concrete look for the island bench. Because we don't have a lot of light in the kitchen, um, I chose a lighter color stone for our splashback and for our bench behind, which I think does really make the island stand out um, like its own little art piece on its own. And um, I've got this beautiful white, fresh um, look behind. This is a Carrera marble and it looks absolutely beautiful with any color you want to style it with, whether it be pink, black, really really pretty I do love it apart from the stone I love this island bench because it's so big it's got plenty of room for storage but best of all it's got so much bench space so not only just for cooking but when you have guests over you put all your um, meals out on the table you can do beautiful buffets and then they just go straight to uh, the dining table just over there um, to eat so that is another um, amazing thing I'll do in my next build is a really big island bench. Now I'll just show you more about our island bench. These stools, by the way, are from Freedom. Absolutely love them. They're beautiful. They're leather, black with this really nice stitching, this detail here. Um, they're really cool bar stools. I tend to eat or work on my laptop on these a lot. And we also uh, included a space for some drawers. I will talk to you more about drawers because I absolutely love drawers over um, cupboards. These are absolutely amazing and we do have storage for the drawers and a microwave on both sides. Oh, sorry, bear with me guys. I'm filming this by myself with a tripod. Um, another thing I wanted to talk to you about was open shelving. I am such a huge fan of open shelving. I love, love, love it for many, many reasons. Um, one being I like to showcase um, different types of plates and cups or spices or frames. I just think it honestly just makes the house look more beautiful and gives it character. Um, it opens up the kitchen. Um, I, I believe it shows off the stone a little bit more and makes it a little bit more airy and lighty, light. <laughs> um, it also uh, gives you the opportunity to put some plants um, and not only open shelving, but we chose an open exhaust so that, um, whoop, which you can see there, so that um, you get that more like contemporary look um, without closing everything up behind cupboards. Another positive um, to being able to put things on show is that if you are working on um, a renovation or an investment that will be sold or will be rented, um, you can quickly just chuck some knickknacks on like some um, plants or some beautiful um, frames and candles and it really makes for beautiful marketing photos rather than just having, um, especially if you have a white, white kitchen, if you take photos and uh, of just white cupboards it just doesn't have that same effect and another great reason see see how good open shelving is it has so many good reasons um, to exist <laughs> another great reason for open shelving is you can save money 
And don't we all want to do that? So obviously overheads um, or all cabinetry costs a lot of money, but you can find some amazing um, timber shelves. You can even buy them yourself um, from Bunnings. I didn't, we didn't buy these ones. We got these put in um, by our cabinet maker, but we did that for um, our mantelpiece uh, above our fireplace and a beautiful piece of timber was put just outside our kitchen bifold doors here, uh, which I'll show you later. Um, so there's a, like a nice little bar um, right outside there that we just created ourselves. Um, and that gives us the opportunity, of course, to uh, have a nice drink in summer while we have a barbecue and pass things in and out from the kitchen so that we've got that indoor, outdoor living. Um, also, <laughs> also behind me is, oh, a little photo of baby. See, hello. Uh, also behind me is our wine storage and a place for my cookbooks, which I absolutely love. Um, Cause it just helps to keep me organized and know where everything is. Um, and that way I use things a lot more. So normally my cookbooks will be hidden in a cupboard somewhere with other books, but now they're all out there. Um, and obviously wine, um, we've never really had a place to put our wine or bottles. So I'm really stoked that we've made a place for it right above the fridge. Okay, so if there's one thing you have to do, you have to get drawers over cupboards. These drawers are also the slow close. So of course, um, if you've got kids or regardless, even if you don't, it's just such a handy little um, option. And of course, if you think you can't really organize these big drawers, well, you can, you can go just get like, I get little baskets or these um, really cool containers are from Kmart. Um, but I'm sure you can buy them anywhere online. Um, and that helps me stay organized. Um, and of course we've got these drawers under the island bench like I just showed you earlier, which I absolutely love the way I can put different things in different areas. So this is like my baking drawer. So I've got all my baking stuff in here. It keeps me, yeah, ex just extremely organized. One of my absolute favorite things about a kitchen or any kitchen is mood lighting. Um, we got this beautiful strip lighting under our open shelves here and at night. Um, sometimes we just leave it on or in the morning when I first wake up and it's still a little bit dark outside, I put this on so I can make my coffee or my breakfast. Um, and we've also got our pendants on the ceiling up here. It just really sets a different mood. It's really like just such a soft, relaxing um, lighting scheme as opposed to having just your down lights on. It really does make a huge difference to the mood of the night. I will also quickly show you um, our tap in the kitchen, which we chose. We basically went to Highgrove for all our tapware and cannot recommend Highgrove um, enough, whether you're on a budget or you wanted to get something a little bit, you know, um, more high end. They have absolutely beautiful um, tapware. We got all our basins, bath, everything from there, which I'll show you in another video. Um, yeah, really big fan of Highgrove. I'm going to show you another convenient option. Please remember this when you're doing your own kitchen, but how good is a double bin right next to your sink and your dishwasher. So convenient, especially if you have a big family, everything can stay clean and organized and all the smell gets locked away. <laughs> um, no, seriously, I didn't have that in my old kitchen. We had our bin under the sink, which was really annoying. Um, I'm very, very, very happy with that choice as well. So as you can see, our kitchen does have loads and loads of storage. However, 
I did also make the choice of getting a credenza. This was from Freedom, I think, yeah, Freedom. Um, and this is where I put, oh, there you go, there is extra wine. Maybe we should have made our wine storage a little bit bigger. <laughs> um, but I basically use it to put anything um, I need when entertaining. So I've got like all my glasses and platters. Um, I think that's just really handy to have that away from all the other cupboards that you would use in your um, everyday life. So this is another option um, that you can do. Think about getting a credenza and it just comes off our dining. If you want to have a look at our beautiful dining table, our chairs are from Freedom. Um, the table's from Nick Scarly. These plants are just from my garden. There's nothing to them, just a little bit of greenery in the house. Bring in something fresh. So that's all guys for my kitchen tour. I hope you found some of those tips handy. Um, I will be trying to get around the rest of the house. Um, because there really is a lot of thought that does go into making choices that are going to benefit you um, either practically or money-wise. Um, so we'll get through um, the bedrooms, the uh, laundry, uh, under stairs, everything like that that um, uh, may help you with your renovation or investment or new build. Dancing in